Hey everyone, so this video is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a VR tutorial, but it's going to be enabling DirectX 12 with Unreal Engine. But rather than cutting out the issues that some people might have, I've got a version on mine which actually crashes on startup. So we're going to go through what can be causing that and how to fix it as well, as well as enabling it. So to begin, all you do is launch Unreal, so your Epic Games. You're going to want to create a desktop shortcut, which we now have on the desktop. And you're going to need to right click properties. And in the target, we want to do a command DX12. That's simply it. So it's dash DX12, no space, and then hit apply. Now, loading this up. This will take you to your project select. And from here, so I'm going to use the VR template, the VR example that I've been working on in the other cha the other series. So I'm going to double click this. So this is the part where some of you might get straight through or some of you might see this. So this is a crash report caused by Unreal Engine not being able to load. So rather than going through it, I know what's causing this one specifically. So I'm hoping this might help some of you. So what we're going to do is close without sending and open the Epic Launcher again. What we did in this project is the only differences between this and the rest, which will actually load up is they have forward rendering and MSAA, so multi-sample anti-aliasing enabled. So what you're gonna need to do is, if you do get a crash report, is open this up, or open your project up in the main editor. Cool, so we're in. So all we need to do now is go to edit, project settings, rendering, and we're going to change MSA to Temporal A. Do the file, save all, and close that down. Now if we go back to it, and open this up, we can go back to the project. And fingers crossed, this time, it should load up. Yep. So, I'm not entirely sure why this happens and my knowledge of the back-end engine isn't enough to to be able to explain it and I've found very little information online on the epic documentation but with that done you can now see we're back in Unreal and to check to see if we have DirectX 12 installed we can go down to we can go to Windows go down to developer tools output log and you'll see this screen it might be docked so you can just open it up or scroll up if you're okay with that so you scroll to the very top and then you're going to scroll down a little bit and you can see here just below the first lot of mounting plugins which are enabled you can actually see that it says here uh, where is it I've lost it there it is you can actually see that it says command line DirectX 12 that now means that we're running this within the editor. So I hope that helped, or at least helped some people. Uh, I'll do a follow up video in the future if I find out what's causing the crashes with the MSAA and if I find a way around that because keeping the MSAA for a VR project is going to be very beneficial for like, everyone. But it's one of the things that we're just going to have to change for now. But in the main project, when I get back to it, I'll probably switch it back to MSAA, but I'll discuss that later on. Hope you're all well. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's anything you fancy seeing or want me to look into, just drop me a comment, and I'll put it on the list of things and see what we can get done. Thanks.